We're here at the Minuteman Sportsman's Club in Burlington, Massachusetts, where students from seven colleges and universities are vying for top honors at the first New England Collegiate Clay Target Championship. At stake, bragging rights and the Clay Cup, a perpetual trophy that organizer Hank Garvey hopes will become a lasting shooting sports tradition. Well, the Clay Cup, I'm hoping, turns into a, a real tradition. There's a, a bean pot, which is a competition between four schools in, in the Boston area today for hockey. And it's got a long, long tradition. It's run every single year. Really hoping that this, the Clay Cup turns into the, the bean pot of clay shooting. The event is part of a much larger effort, the Collegiate Shooting Sports Initiative, administered by the National Shooting Sports Foundation, which was designed to help renew interest and help expand participation in shooting at the collegiate level. For seasoned teams like Yale, this effort is providing great benefits. Really in the Northeast it was mostly uh, the Yale team and the team at West Point uh, that were the only ones left uh, and, and we would compete with them annually but uh, luckily uh, you know thanks to the work of, uh, of the NSSF and and others a lot of new collegiate programs have been started and, and restarted in the Northeast uh, so it really seems to be a, an exciting time and, and a real renaissance for, for collegiate shooting up here. Uh, and we get to do events like this, uh, tournaments, and I think ultimately, uh, you know, it prepares our shooters for the national tournament a lot, uh, a lot better. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's good to have New England shooting back on the map. For others, grants provided by NSSF's Collegiate Shooting Sports Initiative not only brought new participants out to the event, but have also renewed interest in shooting sports on campus. This year, the $7,500 brings us from basically non-existent on Harvard campus to a huge presence where everyone is basically talking about it. You now, Harvard is somewhat moderately liberal leaning, but uh, we found that with the help of the grant, we were able to get a lot of people interested in shooting sports, understanding that uh, guns can be used safely and in a fun manner. Beyond competition, shooting sports clubs play an important role in connecting students with new friends and new opportunities. Shooting sports has really just been awesome for me. You know, I, I got to school, I didn't know anyone. I was this little freshman, I hadn't gone to orientation, I got there late, I was sick. Uh, and then I found the shooting sports team and I made a whole bunch of friends, made a, met a bunch of like-minded people. Um, and you know, they really gave me the confidence to kind of branch out and do other stuff too. The demand is there, we just need to be able to find clubs, coaches, and mentors to get these kids out and give them an opportunity. There's over 20 colleges in the New England area, just in the Boston area alone. I'd like to be able to have teams in almost all those schools by next year. To learn more about the National Shooting Sports Foundation's Collegiate Shooting Sports Initiative, visit nssf.org slash college.